Hey YouTube, this is Tyler. I'm here today with a few finds that uh, me and my daughter made here in Kentucky at a local creek. Um, many of the specimens we I believe to be a form of copper, whether it be uh, solid copper or some kind of alloy. Um, I've actually got quite a few awesome things to look at today. Um, one of the first ones up are um, actually one of my first finds and it is a copper piece that um, is very yellow in nature. This has been cut for about three weeks and has yet to be um, tarnished red or anything like that. Um, the other half is actually here. I cut it in half to kind of show it's solid all the way through. Um, this thing weighs good almost a pound um, for, for worth of whatever kind of copper alloy that it actually is. Um, this one here is actually a lot redder in tone in contrast to the previous one. So I believe this one to be more of a solid copper versus it being an alloy. Um, this is just another piece of the native copper. Um, they seem to take very erratic shapes. Uh, I'm in no way a, a geologist or um, anything like that. More or less, I'm a, a, a recreational hiker, and I enjoy making cool finds of, of this nature. Um, and again, you can kind of see the form that they've taken in terms of um, at once being molten and then becoming solid. Um, this is one of the few specimens that I was actually able to have tested with an XRF scanner. Um, it came back as a um, majority aluminum mixed with a zinc, which could explain the yellow uh, brass colored copper and some of the other pieces. Um, this here I believe to be a tungsten ore. I've yet to have it tested, but I believe it to be a tungsten rod ore of sorts. This is another piece of the aluminum that's not been cleaned up or shined or cut in half. Um, to kind of just show you what it looks like in its, in its ore form versus after it's been cleaned up and, and shiny. Um, this is one of my more favorite pieces of the copper. It kind of has a, a funny looking face to it and really weird texture, something that you don't see very often. Um, this is something that I have yet to identify as well. I believe it is to be some kind of copper ore. It's got many different balls of just solid copper and other types of crystals inside of it. Um, again, I have not been able to identify what it is, so if you have any ideas, uh, please feel free to comment or subscribe or send us over a message and um, kind of give us whatever information you think you may have on it or whatever lead you think we could take to, to try and identify it. These are another th um, find. I, I found quite a bit of these. I um, can't really find much online. I think it to be some sort of a red jazz type maybe. Um, and again, I have, I mean, just tons of them. This isn't even... Um, scratching the surface with how many I really have um, and again guys I just I appreciate your time and um, enjoy taking a look at my video and, and keep an eye out for more videos to come and I again I hope that you can comment and if you have any information that you'd like to relay back to us please feel free